Welcome to this video tutorial that covers the various SQL database configuration options within eCopy ShareScan. Every customer environment is different, so we'll present three different scenarios, ranging from simple to more complex. After watching this video, you should understand how to set the SQL installation options for a variety of different environments. You should already be aware that Microsoft SQL is an important component of a ShareScan installation. SQL provides the database functionality which stores the licensing and configuration information. We'll soon see that eCopy ShareScan offers the ability for administrators to install either a built-in version of SQL, or instead, admins can point to a pre-existing instance of SQL running on the customer's network. These choices are made during the ShareScan installation process. When it comes to connecting to a remote SQL server, be sure to check the ShareScan pre-installation checklist or pickle document. This document is critical to review prior to any ShareScan installation, and is covered in more detail in the ShareScan installation video also on our YouTube channel. The pre-installation checklist contains information about supported SQL versions and details any prerequisite work that needs to be completed prior to connector configuration. You can find this document on the Engage website at the URL shown on the screen. Let's first look at a simple, single server installation. In this situation, a single PC acts as both the ShareScan manager and the host of the SQL database. An example of this might be a single scan station installation. This is by far the most straightforward setup that can be performed. We'll also assume there is no other existing ShareScan managers already at the customer site. Let's launch the ShareScan installation wizard to see which choices we should make to accommodate this configuration. Note that we will not examine all of the installation screens, just the ones pertaining to the SQL setup. If you need a review of the other installation choices as well as installation prerequisites, you'll want to check out the ShareScan installation video on our YouTube channel. About midway through the Install Shield wizard, you'll see a Setup Type screen appear, providing you with two options, Complete and Custom. The Custom option allows for the selective installation of various ShareScan components, and will be reserved for another scenario that we discuss in this training. For this situation, we'll go ahead and select Complete, as it will load all of the necessary software for a standalone installation. When you select Complete, you are brought immediately to the installation summary screen where you can confirm your choices. As you can see, all of the choices here have been made for you. Let's review what's installed. The eCopy ShareScan web client is a necessary component if you plan to use MFP devices with web browser based user interfaces. SQL Server 2012 Express Local DB is automatically loaded as well. This new lightweight version of SQL provides all of the necessary storage functions that ShareScan requires, but installs in a fraction of the time compared to previous versions of ShareScan. Once SQL is installed, the database itself needs to be constructed. In this case, a local database will be established with two administrative accounts. The SA account is created and used for the database creation, and the eCopy account is established for routine interaction between the ShareScan services and the SQL database. Clicking Install would kickstart the install process, and roughly 5 to 10 minutes later, the application would be fully installed and ready to be licensed, configured, and used. At the end of the installation process, the completion screen will appear, which allows you to launch the ShareScan System Checker tool. This tool performs a variety of tests to ensure the manager PC is properly equipped to run ShareScan. It is most useful to collect data for troubleshooting purposes. If you're unfamiliar with its operation and would like to learn more, be sure to view the ShareScan post-installation diagnostics tutorial also on the Nuance Imaging YouTube channel. For this scenario, let's look at a situation where there's one existing ShareScan manager PC. In this case, it's also running SQL and has a valid ShareScan database with plenty of configured connector profiles that we'd like to leverage. Let's now see how the installer application allows for the disabling of the local install of SQL and instead can connect to an existing remote database. 
Before we begin, it's important to point out that in order to connect one manager to another manager's SQL instance, you cannot use the SQL Server 2012 Express Local DB as we did in Scenario 1. That lightweight version of SQL is intended for single ShareScan manager deployments only. Fortunately, since the release of ShareScan 5.0, SQL Server 2008 R2 Express is also included and can be used to allow multiple managers to connect to it. At the setup screen, we'll choose the custom option this time. As you can see, the custom setup screen provides several options. If left at their defaults, the result would be the same as if we had checked the complete install button. But in this case, we need to disable the highlighted option here. This will bypass the local SQL install. Since we also plan on sharing the existing configuration database, we will uncheck the box just below that. This is the recommended action to take when you want to share configuration data amongst many managers. The last option for installing the web client is not related to the SQL discussion. This setting is utilized when you plan on having eCopy enabled web browser based MFPs connecting to this manager. After making your SQL elections, the next choice is for destination folder for both the ShareScan and the Apache Tomcat applications. I'll leave the default values here and click Next to continue. We're then brought to the Database Server and Runtime Account Information screen. This screen will only appear during custom installs as we've told the installer to bypass loading SQL. So instead we must provide the connection information so that this ShareScan manager can attach to the database to acquire its configuration information. As it states, Use the hostname slash instance format when specifying the SQL Server. If you neglect to enter the information and attempt to move forward with the wizard, you'll see an error message similar to this one. I'll enter my SQL Server information now. Remember that in our first scenario, we talked about how after SQL is loaded, the ShareScan configuration database is built within it and a runtime account is established. Here, since we're connecting to an existing database, we are required to enter in whatever runtime credentials are in place on the remote SQL server. It could be the account eCopy, or it could be something of the customer's own choosing. So double check with the site contact for this information. We'll leave ours at the default credentials and click Next to continue. The application will then start to install with progress bars indicating the status. A short time later, the application would be fully installed and ready to be licensed, configured, and used. In this third and last example, let's look at the situation where a customer has a SQL server allocated for ShareScan usage. However, there are no other ShareScan managers currently in place, so therefore no pre-existing ShareScan database to attach to. Our goal here will be to connect to the customer SQL Server and have the ShareScan installer create a brand new ShareScan database within it. At the setup screen, we'll again choose the custom option. We'll only need to slightly modify our choices here. Again, we'll disable the local SQL install, but this time we'll leave the configuration database option checked. As before, the next choice is for destination folder for both ShareScan and Apache Tomcat. Finally, we're brought to the Database Server and Runtime Account Information screen, where we again must provide the connection information so that this ShareScan manager can attach to the remote SQL instance. At this point, the application will install as we've seen before. We've just examined three different ways to install ShareScan to accommodate differing customer infrastructures. We've seen how to adjust the installer wizard options to support both a single manager and multi-manager setup. To further your knowledge on this topic, we recommend you now view the licensing and activation video tutorial also on the Nuance Imaging YouTube channel.